Welcome back to Pwn TV, everyone. So I'm playing Legends of Runeterra again, and uh, today I'm gonna try a different deck, a different brew that I think is gonna be fun. And uh, the idea is to turn everything into a landmark and then destroy all landmarks. It's that simple, it's a two card combo. I'm sure there's a lot of good ways to do it, but um, in this deck, we're doing it this way. My dog is here. Hi, doggy. You go lay down. You go lay down. It's bedtime. So, uh, opening hand for a deck like this is probably going to be no 8-drops or 1-8-drop. And then uh, it, no no 5 and 6 cost cards for sure. Like, this, this Harsh Winds needs to go. Troll Gifts, honestly, is a 3 of. I should get rid of it. And I don't need two trolls to win the game. So I'll keep one troll, actually. Alright, well this hand is even worse I think, but that's okay, there's a lot of ramp here, so if I see a 2-drop uh, uh, voices, then I'll be fine. Oh, excuse me, 2-drop uh, faces, voices is the 8-drop. Yeah, I don't have faces on turn 2, so that's going to be a really slow start. That's okay. Fun, fun, fun! Maybe he, maybe he also says, draw go. That is a good card in this deck. I have to be really careful how I use this. All right, so he's letting me do whatever I want, so I'm gonna say Catalyst. Yep. Does he still not have a play? Was he waiting for me to tap out? Okay, create a random six cost. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's, that's fine. I don't know what he's playing yet, so I'm gonna hold on to counterfeit copies. It's going to be my silver bullet. Alright, I got some 8 drops. We definitely need a slam down Troll Ravager. I'm going to start bashing for 3. This is Delver of Secrets in this game, by the way, for, for Magic the Gathering. Basically, it's Delver of Secrets. It's just not a turn 1 Delver of Secrets. But to be fair, he doesn't flip on turn 1 pretty much anyway, so... Kind of the same thing. So what do we want to do now? Uh, he's not playing anything, so maybe he's also playing extremely late game stuff. But this troll puts on a clock for sure. He's got to play something. All right, he's playing a Heimerdinger deck, so maybe a catastrophe, something like this, some deny support to stop me from stopping his combo. Yeah, it's you know whatever. Uh, yeah, you got it, dude. So, I'm gonna play an 8-drop. It's gonna be a Voices, because I just want to get to turn 10. Yeah, and I pulled two off the top. Excellent. Not looking good for you, Heimerdinger. Not at all. Alright. Alright, okay, alright. 
let's just, uh, you know what? Let's take advantage of the fact that we're already past turn 8. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming, Heimerdinger. Here we go. Watch out. Coming through. Smash. Smash. Take out the garbage. That's right. My guy's bigger than yours. What you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do? You gonna recall him? Oh, he's thinking. He should recall one of these guys. That's what I would do if I were him. Yeah. Okay, plus three. Okay. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I like fighting for cards. Like, I like this. Why? 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 Yeah, no, dude, you're good. What, what, what was, oh, that was just to get... Okay, that was just to get one card. Okay, because he, he probably does have Catastrophe in hand. In that case, that was a pretty good play. If he's got Catastrophe. Me, on the other hand, I'm just going to smash. That's going to be the goal. Alright, let's see how we're going to do this. Okay. He's playing something. Okay, card is minus one. Okay, augment. Create blah blah blah. I don't care. Good for you, dude. You got it. You got it. Definitely. Now you have augment. Now your shit just keeps scaling. I like it. I can respect it. It's not going to work for you, though. Because I just go hit that stairs, blow everything up. <laughs> Oops. Looks like I exploded all over your face. R.I.P. your guys. Yep. I'm gonna explode all over his nexus. I should have battle furied here. If he does anything, I Battle Fury, probably. Okay, I'm gonna get priority. Alright, so if I Battle Fury, I get 8. That's 8 plus 8, 16. Oh, yep, yep, yep. GG. Battle Fury! Game over. On my way out of silver, bruh. Smash. Smash. Yeah, not sure if I even want to put that one on my channel. <laughs> that was a pretty weak match, I'm running here. Yep. Wasn't ready. He wasn't ready for my shenanigans. That is, that is for sure. That guy got crushed. Yeah, many, many victories already with this deck list. Many, many victories. I'm very proud of my baby. It's kind of sick nasty. Kind of has a lot of potential. And it can only get better with more uh, additions to the game. Because I could definitely put better cards in the 40 card list. If I had them. But they're not out yet. <laughs> That's kind of where we are. With this deck. <laughs> it's like Crazy 8's without all the crazy. <laughs> it's just like, hey, listen. You see this 8 cost? <laughs> <laughs> Just scoop. <laughs> That's basically all it is. Alright, so do I have the balls to get rid of Battle Fury and screw up my whole turn three? That's the question. Ah, uh, do I have the balls? I don't have the balls. I can't do it. I can't do it. This is a good hand. Battle Fury just won me a game, so I'm fine. So what if I don't get my combo because I kept the Battle Fury? I'm okay with that. I can live with that. My combo is pretty dirty, though. Goes without saying. Sick nasty. Sick nasty. Alright, let's see if I can just cream all over this guy's nexus as well. I think I might be able to. I have a pretty good turn three. Yeah, draw a landmark. Ooh, I like destroying landmarks. <laughs> 
Yeah, you got it. All right, well, you know what? If you're going to just draw a landmark, I'm just going to go ahead and ramp some more and then not worry about playing a turn three troll. Yeah. I'm just going to do a little bit more ramping. The faster I ramp, the, the easier the win's going to be. I'm telling you that much. They're going to be looking at an Aurelian soul in hand, and I'm going to be like, smash! <laughs> Negative two life for your nexus. All right. Play another ramp card while I'm distracted. While I'm on this power trip. Yeah, cool. Very cool. You got it. You got it. I'm just going to go ahead and slam down Troll Ravager and smash you for three. Because you won't block this. Joke's on you, though. I don't need these guys anymore. We're already past where we... These guys fall off on, like, turn five and six anyway. So, it's turn five for him. If I can get some good draws, then, yeah, cool, you have Scar Grounds. Got it. Too bad you played him in the wrong order, because now it's going to be bad for you. Uh, yeah, I think we could just grab the three sisters for six mana and blow him out, because he can't do anything about it. And just not keep the buried in ice, because I'm going to lose these guys if I don't do this. This will buy me a turn. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Alright, get out of here, you. Calm down, Ember Maiden. You're too toxic. I don't need none of that on my channel. Please, thanks. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Oh, okay, you can give him Spell Shield. Alright, alright, respect. Respect. That was my whole turn to do that. Too bad you're not going to attack anyway, so I'm not even worried about it. Kill my guys. It's fine. I have nine men this turn. What am I going to draw? Oh, nothing good. That's not good. Alrighty then. I'll go ahead and hit you with my troll. What you going to do about it? Are you going to block, bro? <laughs> yeah, okay. 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 Well, if that's the if that's the game we're gonna play, bro. If that's the game we're gonna play, bro. <laughs> uh, do you even know who I am? <laughs> you can kill my troll, I guess. I'm killing your guy. <laughs> I'm taking him with me. Yeah, that's fine. I got more copies of that card in my deck now, so I can pump literally anything else and get out of range of his silly little Everyone combo. Let's go. Interesting. You would give that guy tough. I'll protect you. Okay, I got a time trick. That's Ready pretty good. Anything. Time trick. Time trick! Alright, how do we win? Um, obviously we don't need to get the Battle Fury. Uh, Bjerg would get me another guy, honestly, so let's grab Bjerg. And I can play him this turn anyway. Yeah, yeah, so I'll go ahead and skip block. Uh, counterfeit copies, save it. It's just gonna get stronger and stronger. Here it comes. Alright. Got it, bro. This is a pretty hard match, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I need to draw more cards, like for real, for real. All right, swing this guy at you. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, you got a flash freeze. I hope you have a flash freeze. I guess you don't have it. I'm gonna sit on the troll gifts actually. I don't wanna let him know I can give this guy regen yet. That's gonna be our little secret. I gotta blow him out with the uh, hit that stairs and then do the regen trick. Hit that stairs is bad against that landmark though, so what I ideally wanna do is top deck my nine drop. And then it will be OPOP. And that's all there is to it. Of course I'm gonna get more of those. Silly me. It could win me the game, though, you know? So, it is what it is. Like, any flash freezes, I could just be like, oh, cool. I'll say. Alright. Okay, we're 
We're gonna blow up landmarks. I don't know shit. Because I can't kill anything with that landmark out. It's just gonna make him too strong. Yep. You got another one? You gonna play your other Scargrounds? You sitting on your other... Oh, you're not. Okay, good. That's good for me. Alright, let's see here. How am I gonna blow him out? I say we just swing the big guys and see what he does. Okay. Okay, is he just sacrificing these guys? Plus one spell shield. Okay. Okay, I'll just do this then. Good night. Got another flash? No, you don't have a flash freeze. That deck needs a flash freeze in it. He should have one by now if he's running it. Okay. Very good. Very good play. I'm impressed. I can kill that thing though. I just need to draw into the right cards. Death Ray. Okay. Kind of lackluster actually. Alright. Okay. I'll just go... Regen Troll Gifts card to counter, counter the other one, or counterfeit copies the other one. And uh, then I'll go ahead and just take the damage, I guess. Uh, do I want to put a Death Ray on top? Probably not. I don't think I want to put a Death Ray on top of my deck right now. I'm at three. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, are they always going to... They're always going to be stunned. Okay. That is a bit of a problem. Let's just throw this at him. Probably a huge mistake. But this game's probably over anyway. I'm just not getting the card draw that I normally get. For some ungodly reason. Yeah, see, like, this guy's just getting the, be the best cards in his deck, and I'm just getting crap. Counterfeit Copies is screwing me right now, honestly. Alright, there it is. Okay. Let's just go ahead and ramp. Yeah, we're just not getting any cards off the top. That's fine. I can take the L. It might be salvageable, it really just depends on my top deck, but it's gonna be that stupid fucking one drop that I just put on the top three. I already know it. And it's gonna cost me the game. Simply playing that card is probably just gonna cost me the game. How upsetting. See dude? This guy. What a champion. What a champ. Sure, you have a Soraka. I don't have any cards in hand for some stupid reason. Doesn't make a lick of sense. Alright. That could save the game for me. Actually. Stop playing cards that can kill me, bro. <laughs> I'm at three. Stop it. I need you to stop it. I'm gonna time trick. Alright. I just need... No, I, I mean, literally, I... Oh, wait. I got priority. So buried in ice, then. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and we shuffled the deck, so we got the garbage out of the way. Okay. Buried in ice. Buried in ice. What are you gonna do now? You're sitting on two support spells, most likely. And you got no targets for them. And now that they're out of play, I can swing lethal. That's game. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> good for you, asshole. <laughs> I hope this. I hope this costs you the whole game. Honestly, <laughs> playing Soraka that deck with fucking landmark, Star Spring landmark. I hate that thing, dude. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of of that um, of that card at all. Let's see. I've got the pump actually, so it doesn't matter what he does. It's lethal, no matter what he does. Does yeah, that's too bad. Go on, it's too bad. 
Looks like you lost. Alright. I'll just go ahead and Fury of the North now. What a match. What a comeback. Skin of my teeth, man. Skin of my teeth. Wow. Wow. That was the worst match I've had with this deck. <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. Well, that happened. That happened. Dude, that's how strong Predict is. Like, my first brew of this list used the Shurima off-color instead of a uh, Piltover off-color, so it was Froyord Shurima. And it was the same concept, but the Shurima cards would draw you additional cards. Well, um, that's cool, and I'm sure there's some decent Predict cards in Shurima. I, I'd have to double-check to be absolutely sure, but I thought I saw something. But that that doesn't that, that doesn't help me, right? Because it needs to be a two drop. And to the best of my knowledge, the best two drop predict card is the predict draw one, which literally just saved me the game. Like it by itself, by itself, because it pulled my nine drop for me. Like I got to draw one. And I had priority. <laughs> so that's just nutty. That's just wow. Wow. Wow 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 wow. So this list is just I think it's fine the way it is. I mean, it was unfortunate until I realized I could shuffle my deck if I played the hand right. Time Trick lets you shuffle. Let's you shuffle. It says predict. You're shuffling the deck, putting a card on top after you shuffle it. So, so you can get rid of um, you can get rid of Death Ray off the top three. Like, if for some stupid reason you said, "Oh, I've got nothing better to do. Let's just screw up my next three draws." and you do this, like, it doesn't matter, because if one of those next three draws is a time trick, you're good, bro. It's Gucci. <laughs> so we're going to play this list again, I guess, and see if I can play, like, a better match where I actually get to use my full combo. Um, I think the deck is going to stay exactly like this, though. Exactly like this. It's, it's kind of nutty. It's kind of ridiculous. A little bit OP, I'd say. Very exciting uh, to build. Honestly, I, I think this is like version eight or, or something like that on this on this idea. The whole idea of like playing buried in ice, but not just to clear the field and swing alpha strike, but also to like clear the field and then flex on you with landmark destruction and then swing alpha strike because flex on you. <laughs> Literally, that's the only reason. So if, if it happens to you um, and I do it right, which is like buried on my turn, buried in ice my turn. You take your turn, you play your hand. I say, Landmark Destruction before you can, your Buried and Ice guys can come back. And then on my turn, another Buried and Ice. So I just go Buried and Ice, attack you, go. <laughs> and then blow up your Landmarks, like, if I can. So that's the idea. Give it all is a good finisher if I have Uzgar out and like some zero twos. So, uh, pretty solid. But honestly, it, it's not something I'll ever want to see in my opening hand. And I do believe I have three counterfeit copies in the deck now, but that's okay because, guys, he's not playing. He's he's got the the one counterspell in Sharima now. There's a, there's the counterspell in Sharima. It's like sacrifice a mana gem counter whatever spell. Uh, fine, he can do that one time. If I counterfeit copies buried in ice, it's gonna be every turn for me that I'm doing this to him. Um, so yeah, so that's most likely gonna be the way that I win this game is counterfeit copies buried in ice, uh, and you can't play anymore, like, any turn at all, so it's kind of nutty. So traditional turn two mana ramp, because nothing's happening on turn two in most matches. Some matches it's kind of crazy on turn two, but just like any other game, it kind of gets ridiculous under certain conditions. But, um... This turn three is going to be superior for me because I have the, the extra mana gem, so I can slam down this troll. This troll is nutty, guys. And if I had a catalyst, I could also play catalyst there, because I have an extra spell gem. All right, so you've got a Lissandra. Um, I've never really lost to a Lissandra, right? So I'm not really all that worried about Lissandra. The Thrall also not worried about it because I'm playing landmark destruction, like in in general. I'm not worried about this guy, no matter what he does. I am going to just swing in every time while I have mana, because I want to bluff what my hand might be. So, as, you know, as long as I have as long as I have a guy in play, I'm just going to, most of the time, I'm just going to attack. 
I want to see what they do. Okay, so that's one less heal you got for your Lissandra. Alright, perfect. So now I'm going to say Bjerg, because it's going to be that turn where I need it that stairs. So I have my full combo now, and I can lock him out of the game with counterfeit copies, especially if I draw two counterfeit copies. That's when it gets ridiculous. Yeah, because, I mean, if I wanted to, I could copies the copies, and then make extra copies of copies, and then play all the copies on Buried and Ice for the rest of the game. Or I could just play all the copies of top deck that I have in there, because there's three in there. I probably should have swung there, but he's got tough. I'm cool. I'm, I'm fine with not swinging right now. I probably would have just chump blocked with kindly or taken three and healed again, most likely. We'll do that next time. Okay, we got a landmark with countdown. Go ahead and play your landmark with countdown. Okay, it's a Talia deck. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So, since it's a Talia deck, best play for me right now is Voices. Hands down. No question. As soon as I can play Voices, if I slam Voices down, I'm gonna, un I'm gonna take my turn, and I'm gonna have all the mana I need to lock him out of the game forever. It's gonna be nutty. Alright, so he passes here. Cool, cool, cool. He does have a he does have a card that can actually reduce the the countdown timers on the landmarks that I make. So like this frozen tomb that I'm about to turn him into, he can get around that if he has the card in hand. We'll see. He most likely does have the card in at least in the deck because he's playing that deck and that card is super good reducing the countdowns of your landmarks. So if he does that now on any of the ones I made, it's going to be a blowout for me. I can't be sure what he'll do. He gets to play one thing, though, pretty much, before I attack him for six. I don't know. I don't have any regrets, because I'm locking him out of this game. Okay. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. He's locked out of the game. For good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. I'm, I'm totally going to win with this lockout. He doesn't know what's about to happen to him. It's going to get stupid. Especially if I draw copies. I didn't draw copies. Alright, so I have to be careful here because I need 8 mana exactly to lock him out. And I also have to draw into more it that stares. But I don't have a copies for it that stares yet, so this could be a problem. Beard might not grab me a and hit that stairs. But I can keep locking him out with the uh, Buried and Ice. That's fine, because I'm, uh, I'm totally going to go ahead and put four more copies of this card in my deck. Okay. We have Italia. You got it. You got it, bro. Alright, four six Talia. She attacks and does some stupid stuff, which would be really good for me if I had, um... What is it? Yeah, because it's, it's two... It's two to each target that blocks her. Yeah. This is rough. Okay. Honestly, I throw Bjerg under the bus here. If I had my... Uh, if I was still playing the one landmark that um, gives you a, a plus one, plus zero tough effect... Um, for some reason, can't think of the name of it. I'd be really good here because every one of those bullets that hit him will trigger that and he'll just get even stronger. And he'll actually trade. I, I did it the other day with Talia. Like, I blocked with just a 3-5 and I had the, um, the landmark out. Uh, and, and basically, like, every time the little 2 damage hit my guy, it triggered the landmark. So, it was pretty OP. Damn, he might win here, actually. But I definitely think that the right play is just play it that stairs. Right? Yeah, let's just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Why not? That's a lot of value right there. It sucks that he's the one playing the landmarks, because that's how Talia flipped anyway. I made him play those landmarks with my spell. So I helped him out since he's playing Talia. Okay, you can entomb my guy. 
Oh wait, that's gonna kill my guy as well. Oh, that sucks. That's pretty good, dude. That's fine. That's fine. I'll trade. Go kill your whole crew. Alright, let's actually slam down the sentry. Alright. Ten mana, really bad hand. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna swing this. Let's see what he does. Okay. You get a turn. The whole point is for you to tap out here. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the win. Wait, I'm gonna go ahead and counterfeit copies it first so I can keep it locked out. And then I'm gonna play buried. GG, bro. gonna do oh my god that's so dumb why didn't he do the other one why didn't he do the other one that doesn't make any sense wow yeah there's there's the card I was talking about too so he gets his guys back okay that's fine um I'm gonna go ahead and say Bjerg, actually. I think that's a pretty solid play here. I need more value. Go ahead and attack me, dude. Okay. Okay. Instant Sentries is kinda nutty. Yeah. That's really nutty, dude. Okay, you got it. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and say harsh winds after you get that resolved. That's fine. I have exactly enough mana for harsh winds. Come at me, bro. Alright, swing the 772, pussy. There you go. Just do this. We'll go ahead and actually, um,. I want to draw a card really bad. Okay, here we go. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so him getting clock hand back off of the landmark that flips back into a clock hand, that's bad for me because it's being summoned again. This is a pretty hard match, considering the card choices he has are all relevant to like a landmark deck, which is, my deck's kind of, the whole idea is to destroy landmarks. Alright, how are we going to beat him? I don't know how we're going to beat him. Oh my god. Yep, I just don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I control gives my it that stares. That could be good. Alright. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and slam these two guys at him and see what he does. I might just have lost the game, but whatever, I don't care. Okay, he's just gonna chump block. Block with the 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. Okay, you got it. That was weird. Okay. Deal two to everything. Okay. Go ahead and reduce the countdown, I dare you. Ah, oh boy. 
This is this is just unfortunate, dude. I'm just gonna blow up landmarks. Fuck it. That'll blow them out. Cause that's a slow card. I'm pretty sure it's a slow card. Does he lose two landmarks here? Yes, he does. Good deal. Alright, buddy. You got it. I'm going to want a really good hand. So what do we have? Buried in Ice is good. Progressive Day is even better. Yeah, I'm going to get Progressive Day. I technically have a Buried in Ice in the form of three sisters right now. Two three sisters as well. Good. Sure, make a guy. You got it, bro. Alright, let's go ahead and. Do we pump here? I think we maybe pump, actually. It's got a lot of mana left. Um, Alright, let's go Fury of the North. And then let's put it on this guy. And then let's block Tau one more. And then let's block here. See what he does. Oh, he's letting it happen. Okay. So he's trading then. Probably has another Talia then, right? Uh. How about. We go Troll Ravager here, and we'll maybe ping him for one on his guy. Okay. That's fine, dude. Poke that guy for one. Anybody's game, but I have better cards. I think I have better cards, bro. Swinging three. Take it. What a punk. Uh, progressive day. I got an Uskar. Good, good, good. Poke him for one. Or is it two now? Oh, it's two now. Alright, play something good or pass turn. Okay, wow. He doesn't have anything. His hand's weak. What's he, what's he waiting on? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So it's literally landmark.deck. Yeah, so he's just playing draw go right now. That's not going to fly. Like, he's going to lose. <laughs> I'm not going to let that work for him. Let's just go ahead and say uh, counterfeit copies, it that stares, time to crush you. Get some extra hit that stares in the deck. Destroy all landmarks against the landmark dot deck player. I like that plan. OP OP crushed. Absolutely slaughtered. You should FF. <laughs> I would FF here, bro, after that. How embarrassing, man. It's the enlightened turn, and you played a Drago, and you lost it before you got the extra draw. Your other card only had one countdown tick left, and you lost it. And it was going to proc twice, because you buffed it last turn. <laughs> Bro, that's a fucking forfeit, man, if I had ever seen one. Let me just help you out with the whole forfeiting thing. Let's just, yeah, let's just give this man a little help. Help him along his way. 
There it is. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it's quite an evil deck, I'm not going to lie. Quite an evil deck indeed. Holy shit. Those were really, really close games, too. Except for the Heimerdinger one. <laughs> I just kind of crushed Heimerdinger. But the other ones, whew, that was rough. Now, I could do this all day, but I got work tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and let it, uh, let it go here. Hopefully, I see you guys in a future video. Let me know in the comments if you want more Runeterra stuff, because I like making this. Uh, I'm working on a couple other projects, just as a side note real quick before I end the video. Um, I'm working on a science video that I don't want to spoil yet. Um, it, it needs a little bit more work before it's out, but it's going to be more educational, a little bit funny, but I mean, if you're me, I think it's kind of funny, but I'm biased because I made it or whatever. And what else is coming? Um, I got another project for, I want to say for Runeterra, but it could be, uh, there's a few different ones. So I think the third one is a surprise as well, because <laughs> I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with it yet. Here's a hint. It's going to be another Beastars, I think. Another remix. Beastars remix. I'll eventually finish it. It's been backburnered for a while, but for now, it's just going to be it's just going to be whatever you guys tell me in the comments pretty much. Pretty much. So let me know. <laughs> let me know. All right, peace out guys. I'll see you in the next one.